Эти коридоры, ребята. Self-Defense Forces of Donbas release over 1,000 Ukrainian soldiers, Ukrainian Security Service reported. Same time, Lugansk People's Republic Minsk negotiator Vladislav Dinego declared that he hoped for an all-for-all -all POV exchange before New Year. On December 23rd, he left for the contact group meeting in Minsk. Lithuanian Ivaras Abramovichus, Ukraine's Minister of Economy, said that the country's strategic enterprises would be transferred to U.S. investment funds and it was done in Romania. The country needs to develop, the Minister of Economy said, proposing to cut back the list of strategic enterprises not slated for privatization from 1,478 to 551 entities. We remember Deutsche Wirtschaft Nachrichten outlet called Yatsinu government the cabinet of ministers formed to sell out Ukraine. Ukraine entered the era of evident colonial dependence. Konstantin Dolgov, the Russian human rights ombudsman for human rights, democracy and rule of law, called for publishing thousands of pages of information on torture at U.S. prisons. A torture report contains slightly over 500 pages which have been declassified. Thousands of pages remain secret and one can only guess what is contained in them, Dolgov said in an interview aired by the Russia 24 TV news channel. The world community should seek that Washington publish all the truth. The United States has not only violated its international commitments, but also the principles principles and norms in the field of human rights and banned methods of torture, Dolga added. In yet another safety lapse, NAFU at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, as many as dozen workers are being assessed for possible exposure to the Ebola virus. The incident occurred as a sample of the pathogen was transferred between labs. CDC officials said Wednesday that one scientist may have been exposed to the Ebola virus, and as many as dozen others are being assessed for potential exposure at the HQ in Atlanta. Earlier, the Spanish government said it is concerned that Islamic State could use the Ebola virus as a biological weapon against the West. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.